So this is a 2010 uh, Ford Focus. So complain of this car, it has a uh, coolant leak underneath. So the way I diagnose this and the way I check where's the uh, leak uh, coming from, I'm using this pressure test. I bought this from Amazon. I think it's only like a hundred bucks, less than a hundred bucks. So it's a set. So it has a lot, a couple of adapter. So we will be using this and we will pressurize the radiator. So let's open the radiator cup. Put this uh, same size radiator and then we are going to put this there you go then pump this okay let's pump it and as you can see in here there's the green line the red line so we only pump until the end of that green green line so just pump it there you go so now we can check where's the leak coming from and it's coming from here right there so let me pump it again and you will see it let me put hold on okay let's pump it again oh, see the go oh, see that did you see it? Okay, one more time. So, let's pump it again. Hold on, hold on. It's not in. Okay, last one. I want you to see it proper. Oh, there you go, there you go. Ah, do, 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 do. Boop, 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 boop. It's wet now. So at least you saw it. So that's how you diagnose a, a car with a coolant leak. So it's really nice if you have this. Let me just wipe. It's really nice if you have this pressure test. Pressure tester. So that's our pressure test. So it's really nice if you have this one. This is a cheap tool. I bought it from Amazon. So it's a set. So that's it. This is just the diagnostic part. And I'm gonna make another video of how to replace this radiator. Alright, that's it.